Alright, YouTube. We're going to be seeing if we can, uh, make us a old flange. That's a uh, French for flange. For, uh, a rally cylinder. Probably needs cleaned out, but, uh, we're getting about ready for this. A little bit of rust going on in there. I haven't been sitting on this long enough. Uh, it's too late to run to the... the heck's it called? Too late to run to run out and buy a piece of flat or buy stock for this. Uh, really not trying to weld two pieces together either. Oh, that's probably why that don't work. There's a big old bump here. Test on propulsives. I guess I mean, I don't to work. Let's see how shitty I can weld. I'm be cutting up the big, big old honking piece. Tried, tried hammering it flat, but I just digs in the floor and uh, 95% sure the landlord ain't, ain't gonna be too excited about that. Let's get to chopping. Now while I, uh, 100% understand this may be a project in vain. Do realize that I have no idea. The last thing I said on video is also a uh, safety first. We took the uh, safety glasses off and we also took our uh, earplugs out. Uh, got the safety glasses off because we got our piece cut. Uh, what we're going to try and do is get a get, get close with our or stuff that we gotta cut up here. Uh, I'm figuring if we whack it off, <laughs> you know, flush this piece here, we'll, uh, we'll get a little bit more meat and surface. Uh, but ideally, I mean, as long as we can get the the pipe, uh, this piece. Should be okay. I mean, it's gonna be a little bit. It's gonna be a little hairy. But uh, I mean, again, that's why I'm doing this, and uh, you're not paying me for it. So, uh, running a problem number one. Not bad. Enough. Oh, this is a problem I run into quite often outside of the shop. Mostly uh, after I'm in bed. <laughs> Don't worry, though. I know what the lady's like. Oh, because uh, I don't have uh, the tool. I mean, I, I have a giant-ass pipe wrench I usually use. But um, I'm just being lazy, so I'm pulling the plug out the wall. So it can't turn on. Hold the little button down, right? Use this giant piece of cutoff wheel as the uh, lever to spin this off. This is... That big old nut, <laughs> another wiener joke, grabs onto the cutoff disc nice and tight. So you spin this until it's loose. Just take that off by hand. Safety first. You know, we, we unplugged this uh, from the wall so we don't cut our hand. Uh, we started the video with these on while we're cutting. We're going to put them back on as much of a pain in the balls as it is. Alright, so after a little bit of experimentation, I know you probably might not have one of these, but I recommend going and getting it. Uh, this one's from Hart. It's a uh, adjustable wrench with a locking mechanism, and uh, it's really good for holding these flat pieces of metal, uh, angle iron. I seen a couple of oops, I seen a couple of videos out there on the boob tube. Uh, a couple of videos on the booby tube, or no, not not boob tube, Facebook, Facebook, where the dudes cut up a. Perfectly good wrench or something, and they'll like uh, they'll weld these flat jaws onto a vice grip. You know, one of these these lockers, right? Because the the locking piece, you know, it, you can clamp down on a couple pieces of bar stock or something, and oh, I'll pick it up like that. Well, I'm just, I'm just cutting this hole in it. I'm like, oh man, it's 
It's getting really hot. This sucks. This sucks a dick. Uh, let me grab. Let me grab pliers. Wrong pliers. Good job. Looked over and I was like, I got. I got a pair. I got a pair of adjustable wrench. That worked pretty good. Party good, and it did. Uh, it's pretty smooth. So this will probably be our mating surface. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. When I was originally dremeling this shit out to give it a little bit more breathing room, definitely don't do port work. If you, you never did port work before, uh, without testing your shit, man. I just figured, you know, the opening on the KX85, I believe it's an 85, I don't think it's a 100. It's far, far bigger than this. Maybe, maybe it's a, yeah, I think it's an 80 or an 85, because the, uh, the cylinder displacement's going to be about 66, uh, 66 or 70, I think, uh, you throw a Minarelli 50cc cylinder on there, 49.9, <laughs> finally get a stamp for the cylinder on the bicycle, oh, another thing, don't be cutting metal next to your fucking cylinder, don't pull a me, uh, but anyways, yeah, this looks pretty flat, so I'm thinking we'll have a decent mating surface, this is probably gonna go on the bottom, uh, get a little bump at ease, might have to hit it with a file, Oh no, I'm a tea bag if I say so myself. <sighs> Move the expensive piece out the way. Uh, we'll use the baby's first metal drill press if you don't want to be a funny guy. I'm thinking that we'll have enough clearance. Thing. There's a little the cylinder. I mean, it's not it's not as flat as you would expect. Maybe take the maybe take the file to it. But I, I think I think we throw a piece of a watch him a call. Throw something on there. It'd be all right. Uh, thinking. I'll cut the if if it works. We're gonna. I'm gonna try it with this piece. The meat to it. I'll try it with this piece. Seeing if I can weld this to this piece here. And if it works, we'll, we'll go to this. Because I'm, I'm trying to keep this as cheap as possible, you know what I mean? A fucking $100 cylinder that I already goobered up. If I fuck this one up, we're uh, here, 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 uh, two stroke port. Two stroke port is always. I'm talking about the MXS cylinder. I think maybe we'll go get one now. One of the reasons I'm not really, uh, gonna port this is, I mean, it's, it's uh, I mean, you could probably get a little bit more out of those, probably get a little bit more out of the transfers. Make them a little wider, but then, then you're changing angles and stuff that I don't understand. I mean, I kind of already went through the bird. A tittle bit. I mean, that's a pretty big, pretty big intake hole and whatnot. So, I mean, it should, I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking at, really. None of the technical terms for it. I know air comes in here and in intake into the, uh, into the crankcase. Gets goobered up, mixed up, pushed out the sides here, in through the transfer port into the exhaust or into the combustion chamber then out the exhaust well more shits going on kinda almost like I don't know I kinda I kinda woulda wouldn't have put this one here at the top you know what I mean uh... That, like I woulda made it so you never have intake coming directly in from the exhaust well, well the exhaust is going on kinda, kinda like it would turn this into a uh... Even though it's coming in through the side, kind of turning it into a case read, if that makes sense. Probably don't make no sense. But I mean, maybe you could do that. Block this hole off and put the opening further down here. Like, uh, made this channel somewhat a little different. Made that made that opening down there. You'd never have any intake that way. And you'd be, you know, I don't know. Uh, 
it's all speculation, all theory. There ain't like I like I said in the uh, uh, other video. There ain't no ain't no uh, factual information to be had here. So don't be going around telling your your, your family. Oh, I I heard this. Or your boss probably get laughed at.